Okay, so in the next couple of videos, we're going to be talking about tests of significance. Let's say that we're looking at this variable of age kid born, which is a question of when, how old were you when you had your first child? And let's say that we were interested, um, and we've already excluded the missing values here, um, let's say we're interested about whether or not there's a statistical difference between when you can drink in this country, which is 21, and when you have your first child. Um, and so to do that, we would go to Analyze and we go to compare means and it gives you several different options one is just means and it gives you the means of a of that particular variable uh, one sample t-test independent sample t-test paired sample t-test and one-way ANOVA in this video we'll just talk, talk about the most basic one which is the one sample t-test which is just looking at one group here we look for our variable age age kid born and we put it over and then we put a test value and what this means is we're going to compare the mean of this value uh, in terms of another value that we can decide on and we said we were looking at 21 and we're going to set up this null hypothesis that the age 21 of drinking is the same as the age of when you have your first kid Now I just click on OK, and with with all sample um, with all tests of uh, significance, SPSS gives you two boxes on the output. One of them will be just giving you the basic descriptives. So we see that the average age here is 23.87 with standard deviation 5.6, um, with the standard error of the mean 1.21, and the second box actually gives you this uh, test and you see here that our test value is present uh, is 21 and it tests this null hypothesis that 21 and 23 are actually the same and that the difference between these two numbers is mostly explained by the standard error so to what extent is that true? Um, well it tells us that that's true at a very very low level of probability um, the nice thing about SPSS is that you know by hand we have to look up a t-value um, you know, calculate the t-value for 21 in a sampling distribution and look up at a cut whether that value is above or below a certain degree um, as a critical value but we don't have to do that on SPSS, it just gives us automatically what the significance level is. So 21 is statistically different from 23 at a point zero 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 level of significance. Okay, so let's say we have a second question now and um, another variable at the SPSS is when you first got married. So we know that there's a statistical difference between when you can drink and when you have your first child, but is there a difference between when you have your first child and when you get married on average? So to do that, we go to analyze, go to compare means again, do a one sample t-test. So I'm just going to reset uh, this test. Now I'm going to go to age, I think it's called age wed. Here we go, move it over to my test variable, and now I'm going to test the null hypothesis of whether or not the average age of getting married is different from 23, which was the around the average age of when you have your first kid. Okay, so we have the second output, and again gives me the first uh, descriptives that the average age of when you get married is around 23. Um, and then the second box tests the null hypothesis that 23 uh, is it the same uh, as 23.33 um, is the difference between 323 and 23.33 above and beyond what we would expect from the random error of any sample and we see here just looking at the significance that it's above kind of what we decided um, what social scientists would decide as uh, too high of a probability. 0 0.05 is probably the most conservative estimate that you would think is uh, significant and because this 0 0.067 is saying that it, there's a 6.7 percent chance that 23 and 23.33 are actually the same value so we cannot reject the null hypothesis. Therefore um, we kind of can't accept an alternative hypothesis that these are different. Uh, so we can't reject the null hypothesis in this situation whereas in this situation we could reject the null hypothesis 
Um, so one is significant and the other one is not statistically significant. These tests were testing particular values against um, the means for that variable, but in the next set of videos we're actually going to look how we can do a sample, two sample t-tests and compare two groups per se, looking at, for instance, whether or not what males and females have different ages on average uh, when they have their first kid. And that's a two sample t-test that we'll get on video 5b.